you than me, pal. The machine was far too complex for me to understand. On the top of the chart was his name, Jacques Marquet. I didn't need to be a doctor to read the graphs. Marquet was dying. Marquet? Yes. I am Marquet. I've been expecting you. You have? Well... What are you waiting for? Get it over with. I just want to know what I should do with the gem. The Lachbar gem? Yeah, right here in my pocket. Oh, oh, I thought you were one of the Ashashim. <laughs> Not me. I never inhaled. So? You were sent in my place? Uh, yeah. You, you could hardly make the trip to Ireland in your condition. What should I do with the gem? Deliver it to the Grandmaster. Quickly tell him that I have found the tripod <laughs> right here in Paris. You have it? Not yet. But it's been taken care of. I... I am a couple of stooges with a flair for petty crime. Would that be Flap and Guido by any chance? You know them? We've met. What about the Hashashin? Uh, uh, he's more likely to have followed Klausner. He'll Stop at nothing to prevent the reforging of the sword. And that's bad, is it? As for Klausner, uh, he has gone off to Syria on a wild goose chase. They have geese in Syria? He, he uh, has a theory about the location of the <laughs> That's enough excitement for one day, Monsieur Marquet. What are you doing here? Talking to this patient, of course. Monsieur Marquet is my patient. Herr Hagenmeier was to hear that. Okay, I'm going. I'd learned all I could from Marquet anyhow. Ah, there you are, sir. I was just coming to look for you. I finished with your pressure gauge. Thanks, Bunny. What's that noise? It sounds as if someone's having a cardiac arrest. It's all right. The doctor's in there with him. Are you sure he was a doctor? Oui, monsieur. He showed me his ID. It was Dr. Braille. There's no Dr. Braille working here. He's an imposter. The door's locked. Help me, officer. Stand back, monsieur. I found Jacques Marquet. Did he talk? Yeah, he talked. For the very last time. He's dead? Yeah. Killed in cold blood by a bogus doctor. That's despicable. What kind of guy would pass himself off as a doctor and take advantage of a dying man? Was it Khan? No. I don't know who he was, but it certainly wasn't Khan. He got away, out the window.
Have you ever heard of the Hashiashin? No. Marquet said that they were his biggest enemy. His biggest enemy was the bogus doctor. Don't remind me. That guy was evil. He had wild, staring eyes like a dead fish. I'll never trust a doctor again. Do you think the assassin was responsible for killing Marquet? I don't think so. He could have finished him off the first time. Besides, Marquet would have recognized him. He was pumped to the gills with sedatives. He wouldn't have recognized the four horsemen of the apocalypse unless they'd introduced themselves. Have you found out any more about the Knights Templar? Yes, I have. The guy responsible for the downfall was Philip IV, the King of France, otherwise known as Philip le Bel. Well, he is known to history as Philip the First, but I doubt if the Templars called him that. I'm sure André will tell you all about him. Can you think of any use for this? That's a thing for measuring blood pressure, isn't it? What are you doing with that? I picked it up in the hospital. It could be useful. You ought to take it back. Don't you feel guilty? Uh, no. Look, Nico. A handful of plaster. Yeah, you showed me. Do you want to look after the gem? No, Josh. I'd be too tempted to sell it. Hey, Nico, shake hands with me. No chance, Buster. Let's take another look at the manuscript. I guess I'd better go back and talk to that weirdo. Which one, Rosso or Sergeant Mu? Oh, were you referring to Andre? I'll let you work it out. You have left it very late, monsieur. Late for what? Anything? I am closing the museum soon. You wouldn't like to get locked in. I can tell you, not in this gallery. Why not? It is haunted, monsieur. You don't believe in ghosts, surely? Oh, yes, I do. Seven years ago, a lad managed to hide in here. He'd made a bet with his friends, I suppose. When I found him in the morning, he was cold as ice and stiff as a bud. Well, what was the cause of that? They said it was a brain tumor. But on his face was a look of stark, desperate terror such as I have never seen before. Scary. Can you give me any further information about the tripod? Certainly, monsieur. It's infamous. That tripod, that belonged to John D. What's the importance of John Dee's tripod? Dee was the most famous escapologist of the 16th century. The Udini of his time. Don't you mean alchemist? Escapologists use ropes, chains, and handcuffs, not tripods. Well, whatever he was, that is the tripod he used in his experiments. What kind of experiments did John Dee perform with his tripod? Oh, the usual. Didn't you study chemistry at school? Yeah, but we skipped over thaumatology. Can I take a closer look at the tripod? What? Get it out of the case? Ah, uh, no! That tripod is protected by a sophisticated surveillance system. How sophisticated? A painfully loud alarm bell. How is the alarm bell triggered? 
by the slightest pressure on or movement of any part of the case wherein that tripod is situated. It strikes me that to call your alarm system sophisticated is, well, stretching the truth a little. It has never failed yet. The sophistication is in its simplicity. The sign on the tripod says it was found at a Templar preceptory. It does? Yeah. It doesn't mention John D. at all. Most remiss. You don't know anything about the tripod, do you? No, I don't. I never had much of a start in life, you see. I owe a little education again to my uncle. He was an optician, but he also doubled as the village school teacher. He taught me the alphabet. Well, uh, 19 letters of it. The bottom row of the chart was uh, too small even for him to read, so he left them out. Why don't you start over and enroll for adult education? You know, I never thought of that. Do you think, if I studied art and did all my homework, I could be a professor of history? At your age? Dream on. I found this gem at a medieval site in Ireland. That means nothing to me, monsieur. How did you manage to get this job? I had the right qualifications. A military manner, squeaky shoes, and an irrational hatred of children. Does this white powder mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Does this apparatus mean anything to you? No, monsieur. Thanks for your help. Hi, André. Hello, Georgie. Have you ever heard of the Hashashin? Why, yes. It was a radical Muslim sect whose name became synonymous with murder. It was formed in 11th century Persia, shortly before the Crusades. At roughly the same time as the Templars. Yes. They gave a new word to our language. Assassini. The Assassins. How did the Assassins get their name? From the legend surrounding the secrets of their initiation rites. A young man who sought to join the sect was given hashish until he drifted into dreams. He awoke to find himself in a fabulous garden with everything he could wish for. The freshest water, the most delicious food, the choicest hash, and the most delectable women imaginable. Cool. Do you have the address? I haven't finished the story. There was a price to pay for this taste of paradise. Wouldn't you just know it? The young man would wake the next day to find himself back in the real world. He was told that he'd been given a glimpse of the heaven reserved for holy martyrs. A heaven he would enjoy for eternity if he was willing to join the Hashashi. How did the assassins operate? Well, as I explained, the new recruits would be only too willing to die for the cause. They'd be instructed in the use of the dagger, poisons, and disguise. Then, the Grand Master of the sect would name an enemy of Allah. And they'd stop at nothing to eliminate that enemy. You got it. They were fearless and deadly. Does the cult of the assassins still exist? Take a look around at the world today. You tell me. What can you tell me about Philippe Lebel? He was responsible for the extermination of the Knights Templar. I know that, but why was Philip so hot to get rid of them? Mostly because he wanted to get his hands on their treasure. He had an enormous debt and a lifelong war with England to fund. The trouble was the Templars were a highly respected holy order. If the Templars were so powerful, how did this Philippe dude wipe them out? By underhanded, dishonorable means, of course. The Pope was Clement V, a Frenchman. French, huh? Handy for Philippe. 
Fred had nothing to do with it. He was Philippe's puppet, planted to further his political ambitions. Philippe wanted the wealth of the Templars and used Clément to get it. So what was Philippe's plan? What happened? Sealed orders were sent out all over France, not to be opened until the appointed day. That day was Friday, July 13th. That's the origin of our superstition regarding that date. At dawn, throughout the whole of France, the Templars were arrested. It was the biggest bust in the history of the world. What happened to the Templars after their arrest? Philippe was out for blood, so he handed the Templars over to the Inquisition. Not surprisingly, they confessed to a sensational and sordid list of blasphemies. Like what? Oh, the sort of things you read about in the gutter press. Devil worship, lewd sexual practices, <laughs> spitting on the Holy Cross, that kind of thing. Well, that must have given their lawyers some headaches. Whether or not the accusations were true, this was not good publicity. Most of the charges were probably cooked up, <laughs> but so were the Templars, <laughs> literally. Hundreds of them were found guilty of heresy and flamed grilled at the stake. They died protesting their innocence. But surely Philippe had no proof of his charges against the Templars. A man will admit anything under torture. The Inquisition fabricated some nonsensical demon called Baphomet and then suggested to their victims that this was what they worshipped. But they didn't have to agree. The records show a Templar coming to trial with both feet burnt off. Fragments of flesh and charred bone falling from the stumps. What would you not admit to, to stop such torment? So there was no truth at all in the Baphomet accusations? Not a shred. Almost every victim described the idol differently. No, Baphomet never existed outside the sick minds of the Inquisitors. So Philippe stole the Templars' riches, huh? Oh no, they weren't stupid. The King's troops marched first on the Temple in Paris, then to the Templar home port at La Rochelle. There was no trace of the treasure, and the fleet of the Knights Templar had set sail. I think you ought to know that the tripod is going to be stolen. The uh, Lochman tripod? No. It's true. I can give you a description of the thieves. Before the supposed event has taken place? I heard them planning the raid. They're wasting their time. The tripod is protected by a state-of-the-art alarm system. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Do you have any use for this, Andre? I ah, shouldn't think so, Georgie. Why don't you loan the tripod to me for safekeeping? Because I'd never see it again. But well, don't you trust me? It's not a question of trust, George. That tripod is hundreds of years old and extremely fragile. I get your point. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. I tried to raise the glass cover of the case, but it didn't budge. I tried to sneak my hand inside while the guard wasn't looking, but the case was locked. The case contained some fragments of pottery. They looked to me like broken flower pots. Above them, a sign read, L'Age Paleolithique. I was no desecrator of tombs. I tried to sneak my hand inside while the guard wasn't looking, but the case was locked. The statue didn't deserve to be mauled by a Philistine like me.
It is closing time, Monsieur Lobino. Already, there just aren't enough hours in the day. More than enough for me. I can't wait to get home and put my feet up. Eh bien, see you tomorrow. Good night, monsieur. Hey, Guido! Look at this! Quit fooling around, you moron! Get your ass over here and bring that flashlight! Oh, Guido! What's the big idea, you dummy? Shine the light down here! The mummy! It it's... it's come alive! If that's a mommy, I'm glad I'm an orphan. Touching an object as rare and beautiful as that would have been the act of a barbarian. Don't even think of climbing in there, monsieur. You'll be suffocated. I always wondered how it felt to be a mummy. It is closing time, Monsieur Lobino. Already, there just aren't enough hours in the day. More than enough for me. I can't wait to get home and put my feet up. Eh bien, see you tomorrow. Good night, Monsieur. Hey, Guido! Look at this! Quit fooling around, you moron! Get your ass over here and bring that flashlight! What the... Who's there? Let's get out of here! And when I woke up, I was at the police station.
Luckily, I managed to persuade Rosso I was innocent. Poor George. What a mess. I bungled the whole thing. I don't think so. You made a pretty good job of distracting those two crooks. Yeah, but the killer got away with the tripod. No, he didn't. He's not the only one who can dress up in costume. You mean... It was you who stole the tripod? Oh, hell, Nico. I could have been shot. Those dogs are more likely to shoot their own feet. I just wish you'd told me your plans. We're supposed to be in this together. But how come you dressed up like a pantomime cat? Don't suck, Georgie, please. Oh, rats. And don't call me Georgie. Oh, I really thought you'd be pleased. After all, we've got the tripod. Aren't you going to try putting the gem on the tripod? I guess so. Nothing happened. Yeah. The gem fits perfectly, but what does that prove? Maybe the tripod has to be in a certain location. There's nothing on the manuscript to indicate where, though, is there? Oh, by the way, I had a visit from André Lobino. Oh, yeah. I hope you didn't mind me giving him your address. Not at all. It was lovely to see him again. He was over the moon when I showed him the manuscript. It's not often he gets that excited. He made a sketch of the knight's crest to take back to the museum. I believe he's identified the family who bear that crest. I sure hope so. Labino explained who the Hashashin were. Yeah? The cult of the assassins. Oh, boy! I have to go. Already? You only just arrived. Time and tide wait for no man. Okay, I'll see you later. The glass case was intact, but the tripod had been replaced by a sign reading, Exhibit Temporarily Removed. The case was empty. Pardon me. Oui, monsieur? Oh, it's you. Well, what do you want now? You're not going to try to hide in that closet again, are you? I hear your tripod was stolen. Nothing travels faster than bad news. It is true. It happened last night. I always said that alarm was no good. Do you recognize this tripod? Mm. It is vaguely familiar. I should think it is. Very similar to the one which we used to have here at the museum. In fact, that's what I thought. But this is obviously a poor copy. Right. Thanks for your help. Hi, André. Hello, Georgie. What's with the long face? Haven't you heard? The tripod was stolen. 
No kidding. I just don't get it. So many other treasures. And the thieves choose the tripod. A modern day alchemist, perhaps? Who knows? There's no shortage of crazies in Paris. Hey, I visited Nicole's apartment. Yeah, she told me you came by. Ooh, quite a fine Georgie boy. I didn't expect anything quite so sexy. I hope you're referring to the manuscript. Yeah, we, oui, of course. What did you make of the manuscript? It dates from the time of the Crusades. We guessed that from the Templar seal. It's a story and pictures like a modern day comic book. What story does the manuscript tell? I don't know. It was probably produced for the tourist market. Tourists? Oh, we oui, pilgrims in our thousands on our way to Jerusalem. The tourist trade is nothing new, you know. It's been around for centuries. Ever since Joshua made a packet selling souvenir bricks from the walls of Jericho. Have you deciphered any of the images on the manuscript? There's uh, very little I can be sure about. The slang of the bull could be a reference to uh, Mithras. Who's he? A Persian god, almost as popular as Christ at one time. The only thing I can be sure of is the knight. He's Spanish. How can you tell that? The writing on the shield, the reference to Ave Maria. No self-respecting knight from Northern Europe would have borne a coat of arms like that. Can you identify the knight's coat of arms? I already did, Georgie. He's a member of the De Vasconcellos family from the Costa Calida. Were they famous? No. They're not mentioned after the 15th century. Oh. The uh, spotlight of history moved on. They are probably long dead. Do you think the manuscript could be the map to the Templar treasure? Frankly, no. That's too far-fetched. The manuscript is interesting enough and a rare find, but that's all. Wouldn't it be terrific if it was a map, though? The treasure of the Knights Templar. A romantic notion, Georgie, but extremely improbable. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. Oh, Andre? Oui? What would you say if I told you I knew who'd taken the tripod? I'd call the police and have them arrested. That's what I thought. Who was it? Oh, I don't know, really. It was just a hypothetical question. That's too bad. If I could get my hands on the thief, I'd wring his neck. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. Excuse me. Stop up. I did not expect to see you so soon after that unfortunate business at the museum. Inspector Rosso was completely satisfied with my explanation. Ah, yes. 
you were accidentally trapped in an Egyptian sarcophagus. It could happen to anyone. Indeed, as could being knocked unconscious by a wooden salmon. What do you want now? Have you ever heard of the Hashashin, Sergeant? What was that? The Cult of the Assassins. What are you trying to say, Stobart? That the clown is a member of that cult. I see. And what proof do you have? Proof? I arrived at my conclusion through logical deduction and... Pseudo-intellectual people. Leave the investigation of crime to those who know best. The police. Hmm. Maybe not. Uh, no. See you later, Sergeant. Excuse me. What do you want now? Does this matchbook mean anything to you, Sergeant? That's a double line Swedish with a crosshatch Bergman strike strip. Now, that's unusual. Pre war Anderson hinging. Really? I haven't seen a reinforced Anderson outside of a private collection. It's rare then? In this part of the world, yes. There are only three places these are made Taiwan, Manila, and Slough. Is Rosso here? Yes, he is. You wish to speak to him? Yes, I do. One moment, monsieur. Stobart is here to see you, monsieur. Did he say what it was about? No, monsieur. Very well. What now, monsieur? Have you heard of the Knights Templar? Les Templiers? But of course, monsieur. Their fame is widespread throughout France. We haven't forgotten them, unlike the rest of Europe. It was the King of France who persecuted them, though. Indeed. That shook his cool. Underneath his cultured facade, the man was real twitchy. You're obviously a great admirer of the Knights Templar. They were men of great honor, monsieur. The flower of chivalry. Not everyone would share your views, Inspector. Not everyone shares my passion for Bartok. But if the Templars were as honorable as... That's enough. I do not wish to hear your uninformed opinions, Stobard. Why do you get so wound up about the Knights Templar? They've been dead for centuries. I shouldn't have pushed my luck. Maybe his ancestors were Templars. Whatever. I saw the anger flare in his eyes like a distant summer thunderstorm. The Templars were the first true internationalists. 800 years on, and still the world is fragmented by nationalistic flag-waving fools. You will excuse me. Excuse me. What do you want now? Is Rosso here? Yes, he is. You wish to speak to him? Yes, I do. One moment, monsieur. It's Stobart, monsieur. He insists on talking to you again. Thank you, Moo. What now, monsieur? Hmm, maybe not. Uh, no. So long, Inspector. 
By the way, Stobard, I thought you might like to know, they found our friend Pigra. Where did he turn up? A little village on the Norwegian coast. The fish had made a meal of him, but the police pathologist identified the teeth. Poor Molly, he had such dignity. It's hard to imagine him ending up as fish food. I once read a list of low-stress jobs. It didn't include police work. Obviously, this guy hadn't read the same list. A typically Parisian sidewalk cafe. Last time I visited one of those, it blew up. I decided I was happy enough right where I was. I once read a list of low-stress jobs. It didn't include police work. Obviously, this guy hadn't read the same list. Excuse me, officer. And how may I help you? What do you know about the Knights Templar? Les Templiers! Only that they were excommunicated in 1312 and hanged in their dozens within this very square. Boy, what they teach in the police academy these days. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. Shouldn't you be off directing traffic or something? You have seen the Parisian traffic, no? Yeah, so? I could direct the traffic. The most dangerous, the east side of Rome. Or I can sit here and enjoy the sun, the architecture, and the Soso Sauvignon. Which would you choose? Yeah, but I'm not a policeman. What happened to duty? An excellent question, monsieur. Do you know what this is? It's a sewer key. Does it mean anything to you? Do you belong to some obscure arm of the Masons? Does this red nose mean anything to you? Aha! A prosthetic nose! Very significant! It is? No. I am just having a little joke. <laughs> What do you make of this grease paint stained tissue? Delightful. Would you like to see some of my used tissues? Hell no. Then please put yours away. Have you seen this man before? No. Who is it? I believe him to be an international assassin. Oh. Is that all you can say? Oh. I did wonder if I should say that I believe you to be an international paranoiac. But it didn't seem polite. Would you like to shake? I stopped myself barely in time. Electrocuting a cop would not have been smart. They'd rebuild the Bastille just so they could throw me in and throw away the key. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? The pattern looks Middle Eastern. Beyond that, who knows?
Take a look at this. Ah, an electrician. My TV has been acting up. Could you fix it? Mm, I doubt it. This isn't my ID. Look at this gem. What do you think? Cut glass. No, it's not. It's for real. What kind of madman would go around waving a priceless gem under people's noses? So, either it's glass or I'm mad? I didn't like to think about that for too long. Do you know what this is? Aha! You Americans with your notorious nose candy. I read Hollywood Wives. I know all about it. If you tried to sniff this stuff, you'd wall up your nostrils. It's plaster of Paris. It is. Thank heaven. For one awful moment, I thought I might actually have to arrest somebody. Hello, the paperwork. You have no idea. What do you think of this? A blood pressure sleeve. Don't you want to know why I'm carrying it? No. That would be dangerously similar to making inquiries. I might get a reputation for taking my job seriously. What do you know about medieval ironmongery? Have a look at this little baby. A tripod. What is it for? You mean you don't know? No, monsieur. Nor do you, I think. I'll see you around. Oui, monsieur. I'll be there. I couldn't open it with my bare hands. Hey, hey you, what do you think you are doing? Leave that camera alone, now. Sorry, no harm intended. You stay away from that. In French, English, and German, it read, In 1312, Pope Clement V dissolved the knightly order of the Templars and excommunicated its members on charges of heresy. In the following two years, many of the knights were hanged on this site. Their Grand Master, Jacques de Molay, was burnt at the stake on an island in the Seine. Fixed to the wall was a sign in three languages. I didn't have time to sit around. A row of old pews, beautifully carved and glowing with polish. I thought of all the people who must have sat here over the decades. All those Parisian derrieres, firm buttocks of the young ladies, the flabby flesh of the old men. That wasn't a pleasing image, so I went back to the young ladies. Whoa! waiting in prayer for the Judgment Day. A knight's tomb, his effigy in marble lying in perpetual state. Biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide his way to the next world, I guess. A knight there in the company of his fellows, I was surprised Philip Lebel had left this place alone. The second stone knight in a row of four lay on the church floor. The statue had any secrets. It was concealing them pretty well. A statue of a knight holding a staff and a scroll.
Carrying all that armor around must have been hard work. I wondered if this guy had died in combat. A stone knight lay at the end of a row of four. A stone knight lay in full stone armor, blank eyes looking at the ceiling. A scroll was a symbol of scholarship. I knew that much. Per disciplinum meum lux videbis. A bit of a stained glass window. Wow! Hoping for a big insight while squinting through a hunk of statuary had been pretty optimistic, I guess. A huge stained glass window formed a magnificent centerpiece for its neighbors. I didn't recognize the biblical story in it. I was a Sunday school dropout. A huge stained glass window formed a magnificent centerpiece for its neighbors. Hey, you with the ball. We? Oui? What do you know about the Knights Templar? Le Templier? Ah, the last Grandmaster, Jacques du Molay, was burnt on an island in the Seine in 1314. Wow, you're pretty well educated for a juggler. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. How did you learn to be a juggler? Juggler? What is this juggler? It's you. You juggle, that makes you a juggler. No! I am a jongleur! A jongleur? What's that? Mon Dieu! A jongleur is an artist, a master of the contragravitic aeropalatic mysteries. In centuries past, the courts of the crown heads of Europe and the jongleurs, witty, erudite men to whom the monarchs turned in their hours of need. Wait a minute, wait. Let me get this straight. Our enemies are at the borders, plague ravages the land, and the peasants are revolting. Thank God we've got Chuckles the jongler to throw his balls around. I don't think so. That juggling doesn't look so difficult. Oh, it does not, does it not? Perhaps you feel you could do better, no? I'll give it a try. Be my guest. I had no idea what I was doing. But this guy was obviously an idiot, so how difficult could it be? A lot more difficult than I thought. That's how difficult. Still, it was my big chance to be derided by complete strangers. Not so easy after all, is it? No, I guess not. Look, a red nose. Ah, you are a clown. A clown? No, if so, you would be a much better jongleur. 
For a moment, an idea capered around near the spotlight of my attention, but fell down the pothole of abstraction before I could focus on it. It didn't seem right to fry somebody's palm when they make their living with their hands. Feast your eyes on this. Incroyable! Is it real? I think so. Some people believe that great gems always have curses upon them. Oh, that's garbage. Although, now that I think about it, both of the people who had this before me disappeared in mysterious circumstances. And the guy who was supposed to get this was shot and then murdered in his hospital bed. Do you want it? No, thank you. It didn't seem right to fry somebody's palm when they make their living with their hands. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Hi again. Oui? What is it this time? Look, a red nose. Well, you say, whoop de doo I had no desire to talk to the crowd. Hi again. Oui? What is it this time? Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. I'm no student of architecture, but the little building looked old. I wondered if it was some sort of summer house. Rats, it's locked. The door was a handsome piece of work, in keeping with the ornateness of the rest of the building. It looked kind of sinister. I wasn't about to go clambering on rooftops if I didn't have to. Hi, is this the De Vasconcellos house? Who wants to know? 
I could tell the old coot was going to be trouble. My name's George Stobart. I was wondering whether... The house is not open to the public. This is the de Vasconcello's house. And what business is that of yours, senor? Look, all I want is to speak to the head of the household. There is no household. Only the countess and myself. What do you know about the Templars? Who wants to know? Are you angling for a bribe or something? You have nothing that I want, senor, except the pleasure of your absence. The guy was obviously protecting the countess against the whole world. But why? Tell me about the Countess de Vasconcelos. She doesn't receive guests. That's all you need to know. You don't even know what I have to talk to her about. She hasn't won the lottery, has she? No, she hasn't won the lottery. A more cunning man might have claimed that she had. Oh yeah? They might have, might they? And that more cunning man would have been kicked off the premises. The Countess doesn't do the lottery. Do you know what this is? See, I have a similar tool for opening culverts on the estate. I don't suppose this red nose means anything to you, does it? Ah, El Flojo. El who? El Flojo. He is a clown on state television. Oh, is he any good? He is as funny as scabies, without the laughs. Look at this tissue. It's a tissue with some greasy muck on it. Yes, that's right. Do you recognize this man? No. Would you like to shake hands? I do not think so, senor. Do you recognize this matchbook? I don't smoke. This lab pass mean anything to you? Nothing. See this gem? Men have died for it. Do I look as if I care? Have you got any use for a fistful of plaster? No. What do you make of this? So that's it. You're a salesman. If I was hawking medical supplies, I can think of better places to hawk them. What do you think of this tripod? I think nothing of it. Okay. Well, I'll see you around. Adios. It was then I realized I'd left home without my pocket siege engine. It was then I realized I'd left home without my pocket siege engine. Hey, you. Yeah? What is it? You would not like it if people just wandered into your home, would you? Well, no, I guess not. Then show a little consideration. Okay. Uh, sorry. I didn't like the idea of carrying 30 yards of hose around me, so I left it alone. My hose has stopped. Yeah? See, my hose never stops. Well, I'm sorry to hear it. It's always sad when an old tradition comes to an end. Did you have anything to do with it? See, you. Well, I'm shocked. I'm mortified. How could you think such a thing? Very easily, senor. 
Very easily. I'm going to find out why my horse has stopped. And that means going into the house. You are not, absolutely not, to go in the house. If you do go in the house, I will set the dogs on you. I hid behind the armor and waited for developments. Hey, you! I know you are there, American. All right, you dogs, I'm coming. It was a small mirror hanging over the sink. From the scum in the sink, it looked like he shaved there. It was just a little utility room with no exit, unless you counted the window, and I didn't. I didn't want a pot plant. There was a big aspidistra sitting on a table in the hall. <laughs> 